And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Dragon Mobilize. This is a deck I really like and I think it's gotten even better with the new patch 114 update. Uh, with that patch, we got two really good buffs for this deck. We have Shivana now being a 4-4 instead of a 3-4. Going to make Shivana a better blocker immediately, which is something that we're going to be a little bit behind because we are ramping into our dragons. We're playing Mobilize and Herald of Dragons to reduce the cost of the dragons at hand, so we're ramping into them. And so uh, since our opponents like playing things on the board the first couple of turns while we're ramping, um, you know, we're going to be a little behind. So Shivana being a 4-4 really helps with uh, blocking and, and trading and everything like that. So I like that quite a bit. And then, of course, we have our Eclipse Dragon that is now going to be a 7-7 instead of a 7-5, making this thing even better. In this deck, um, usually like I, I like doing the Nightfall with Eclipse Dragon and, and just getting these extra cards and, and uh, you know, it's pretty awesome like that. But this deck, we actually want to do Daybreak quite a bit. Because whenever we do Daybreak, then the next um, Dragon or Celestial costs two less. And that curves, so seven mana and then two less. And of course, the next turn, you're going to have an additional mana. So that's three, three additional mana towards your next Dragon the next turn, which is going to be Aurelian Soul. So this one ramps Eclipse Dragon into Aurelian Soul. That's the goal. Um, and then, it, of course, if you can have things that make both Aurelian Soul and Eclipse Dragons cost less, like Herald, like Mobilize, um, you know, you can have that happen even earlier. You can have, like, a turn 5 Eclipse Dragon, turn 6 Aurelian Soul. Like, that's that's definitely a possibility. And that's what our deck's all about. We have plenty of fight spells with all three Concerted Strike, all three Strafing Strike, all three Single Combat. That's a way that we catch up against the aggressive decks, especially with the help of Radiant Guardian. Um, but yeah, that's that's what our deck's all about. So let's ramp into some dragons. I feel like this one's gonna go pretty good. I think this deck's, um, you know, pretty strong and uh, I'm looking forward to it. All right, we are playing against an aggressive deck here with Lucian Callista. All right, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. I could definitely see keeping Screeching Dragon over Shivana. I, maybe we just mulligan them all. Yeah, so basically what we want is we want our ramp cards, we want Radiant Guardian. And then we want fight spells for after we play Radiant Guardian, which Concerted Strike kind of counts as that. And like, I don't, like Shivana, Screeching Dragon, like these are good cards, like Screeching Dragon Challenging is a good card. But I think I want to try to find the ramp cards. Um, I don't know, maybe I, maybe I keep Screeching Dragon. Screeching Dragon is the kind of card that can really help us catch up. Okay, so not not a very good mulligan. Nope, not a very good mulligan at all. Hmm. This one's gonna hurt. Don't get in my way. This is mercy. All right, well I'll just play this dragon's clutch to draw two different dragons, because th that just takes two dragons out of my deck that I don't want to draw for turn, right? Like I don't want my draw step for my turn being an eclipse dragon or a white flame protector. And so just playing that right now gives me a better opportunity of drawing something else. Oh, man. Okay, well, this is embarrassing. <laughs> so I guess next turn, I'll be able to play White Flame Protector and have Strafing Strike available. Yeah, so no Dragon Guard Lieutenant or Herald of Dragons or Mobilize against the aggressive deck. Pretty rough, and also no Radiant Guardian. Boys, we are... I'll bring them peace. So basically, if they have Blighted Caretaker, we lose. I guess we go down to one. Because now with the new Lucian, now you get to kill another ally and then get the rally. I could Strafing Strike and just kill the Lucian first and stop that. Okay, but it's kind of hard to do that. Alright, I can't play Mobilize because, you know, I need I need to be able to play that and Strafing Strike. Yes, 
thing to do. Oh, I should be attacking with the life healing protector too. All right, GGs. Yeah, our four, our four most important and best cards in that matchup we didn't have, so yes, we were too slow. Hey, Kitty Dexterity. Oh, what am I doing? This is a bad play. I'm sorry. I. That's a bad play. Basically, I, I need to be mobilizing first. Okay, I need to get get back into it. That's that's a bad play. I should I should play nothing there that turn, and then this turn I should be casting mobilize and then casting the Herald of Dragons. So I could go mobilize into Dragon Guard Lieutenant. I'm gonna pass. I want Mobilize to hit another thing. So we're gonna draw something else. Oh no, we drew single combat, so. Uh, not really rewarded there. We wear red to honor the fallen. I found a home among the Dragon Guard. We are your people, Anna, and you ours. Two arms! Yes, you have two arms. I think I'm going to just pass. Okay, I really don't want any more Herald of Dragons. Extend your senses. The dragon himself. Come hither, you beasts of glory! <laughs> he just imagine him waving his arms when he exclaims that. <laughs> I will not hold back. This is a good spooky karma deck, because they're also playing Lee Sin. I think that's pretty smart. Because Lee Sin's awesome. That's something that, that other spooky karma decks aren't really playing. Um, another very good card to go along with the karma. I think that that makes a lot of sense to play Lee Sin as well. So I didn't want to single combat the Lee Sin yet because they could just play a spell and give it um, Barrier. So now they'd have to play two spells to give a barrier. And have another single combat. Hmm, glimpse beyond. Must be on's pretty spicy. Shroud the world in wings. Just hold on to the mobilize. I don't exactly need it right now. Uh, maybe you know, like maybe we create some more celestials that we can mobilize the celestials. We each die, then found home. They're at seven out of eight. Um, so they can deny both these Supernova and Cosmic Inspiration, but they're both pretty good. The Maybe I just take this, you know, like, do I want to try to Supernova the Lee Sin, or do we want to be able to, like, but that'll take my entire turn, or do we want to be able to double spell and play, like, the Immortal Soul and, and White Flame Protector and stuff like that? Uh, maybe we want double spell. I don't know. I could obviously see this backfiring. I would not have joined their cause, were they not? I'll see this through. The 
dragon spirit awakens. That worked out really well for my opponent. That worked out really well for them. Enter your spirit. Yeah, they they got to use Glimpse Beyond on their uh, Lee Sin. Impressive. Pretty pretty impressive. The end of this world, impressive deck that my opponent's playing. They're playing a, a good karma deck. A karma deck that has a lot of other things that you don't need a karma whatsoever. I like it. I obviously re completely regret taking the Immortal Fire and not taking the other thing right now. GG's. We'll bring peace to Ionia. Good deck opponent. Right, if if I would have had the nine mana celestial card that yeah, I know it requires a behold, I would have cast Aurelian Soul again the next turn and, and gotten another one. Um Yeah, you know, we would have done something like that. That was pretty. Lee, Lee Sin was really impressive there, and then obviously Mina Swiftfoot, triple bounce in. Yeah, deck looked good. Alright, Shivana or White Flame Protector, please, or a spell. Okay, Shivana. Water changes, but never we do we do definitely need we definitely need spells in this matchup, right? Like they, they have like all their combat tricks and everything like that. We definitely need spells. This is your end. Alright, so do I let them trade? So they have I think I let them trade. Yeah. Yeah, we got we got trade, because we can't let them just keep drawing more spells. So yeah, like they have the sharp sight. That's the only reason why they would attack. But I don't think I just can just take it from River Shaper and and you know let them draw a spell and continue to draw more. Uh, maybe I pass. Okay, they pass as well. Pass. To see if they play something. Because if I play Screeching Dragon, then they just pass. Where if I if I pass, maybe they play something smaller that Screeching Dragon could kill. The end of this world draws near. Yeah, we haven't drawn any spells. Like we need we need our fight spells with this matchup. We need single combat, strafing strike, concerted strike. Yeah, I didn't I didn't mulligan any of those three. This is a matchup where those those spells are really, really important. I walk the space between worlds. Correct. I could play. I could play. I could play the Screeching Dragon. Pass. They pass. I pass back. I'm ahead. You know, I I got to spend four mana. They didn't. So I'm ahead on board. Correct. Um, but I just didn't think that that was really getting me too much. You know, like the next turn. You know, because then like this turn, like what am I really doing? Like I I could play like a you know from just looking at this hand, I could play like a Radiant Guardian. So they could use single combat to kill my Screeching Dragon, but of course they could have used single combat 
to just kill the Herald of Dragons anyway. Could also have another, like, I assume if they had the plus two, plus two, they would have just, you know, played that. Like, it wouldn't be that much of an, a question. So I think it's got to be, and plus, like, a, a plus two, plus two wouldn't go out to the middle here. So it's, they got to have single combat. And I'm pretty jealous. I wish we were playing single, single combat. Possible the mind splitters can take over the game if they don't have like concerted strikes. So we're at ten cards and zero spells. I guess that's better than ten cards and zero units. Don't really know how that would work, but the fate of mortals and spirits falls to me. So they just had another Shen, and it took them like a whole minute to decide whether or not to play it. I guess I'm representing Concerted Strike. Finally, we drew a spell with Concerted Strike. Finally. So why it's nice to have spells, you know, we had the one, but we had a lot more. Now, we have more cards in hand, so if we can stabilize, you know, maybe we can get there. Strength in grace, beauty in the blade. Play this for five right now. Oh, I, gotta, I gotta play this. Even to the young bloods, we are nothing. Probably going Radiant Guardian this turn. Because, like, they're gonna kill the Herald of Dragons. So probably getting just a Radiant Guardian in play. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, our opponent's very slow. Alright, so they ran out of time. They were very, very slow with everything. And so they, they just ran out of time. And so just the shame concede. I liked our chances of winning that, though, with, with having another uh, infinite mind splitter. Be interesting. Vi and Lux. It's probably gonna be pretty strong. That's gonna be a pretty strong deck. All right, good. We got some ramp. The card I'm not so sure about is Infinite Mind Splitter, and and the Dragon Guard Lieutenant. I could see Dragon Guard Lieutenant not being that necessary in this matchup.
Even though, you know, it's a one mana 3 2, uh, you know, with the mobilized. It's a one mana 3 2 challenger, so it's not like it's a bad card. So of course we need to use need to use that mana before it goes away. Um, but we don't want to play Shivana or White Flame Protector, because if we just wait a turn, we can go mobilize again. Now these both cost two mana, and so I could just double spell and play Shivana and White Flame Protector here. Um I could play if I play Herald of Dragons first, then they cost one mana. Shroud the world in wings. They could kill the Herald of Dragons though, which would be kind of sad. Dragon blood, Demacian heart. Let the blood I'll lead with Shivana. I am watching you. They are nothing. Yeah, I'll let Shivana die. Or not die, but you know, take you know, block the three one. Okay. Oh. stands for violence. If I play Infinite Mind Splitter on these two, they have their Vi challenge my Screeching Dragon. I guess that's worth it. Because I don't think they're going to do Vi Herald Dragons. Then that's you know that's a lot of damage Freeze. coming in. Okay, never mind. They are. Freeze. No, that's what I expected. All right, so we can ramp that into a really soul next turn. You know, they could play Lux here, and, and I'll kind of regret not just attacking for eight. Right, let's miss some fools up. No mercy. Ah, quit your yapping. Yeah, Eclipse Dragon is just always amazing, isn't it? I guess I could wait to turn on Aurelian Soul. Worst case scenario for me is single combat. That's not too bad. Just means whenever I play Aurelian Soul next turn, I won't have Strafing Strike also, because, you know, it'll cost, now it costs 8 mana. And we'll have eight mana for it, so we'll have the extra two. We were forged in dragon fire. Hmm. I think we got some dragon fire over here also. No coincidence. Hey, how about that? There's the extra two. Oh, this one. They think themselves cultured. <laughs> yeah, they had trail of evidence. So while I could single combat and kill the Vi, that doesn't let me level up Aurelian Soul, because then my Eclipse Dragon dies. The constellations bow to me. All right, so now we have two fight spells to kill Vi, to make sure it doesn't kill my Aurelian Soul. They'd have to have, obviously, something a little bit else besides just this. That's weird that it says Vi's Vault Breaker plus one plus zero. I think that's just like a typo. Here's the fun
we go. There we go. Alright, two and two. You've been wonderful, as have I. Thank you. Alright, playing against some scouts. I like that card. That's a good card. Very cheap. I like that. I like that. Radiant Guardian would be the card. If I could pick a card to draw, it would be Radiant Guardian here. Well, how about that? Well, how about that? I wanted to see if they would play Misfortune, and then I'd play Dragon Guard Lieutenant and challenge Misfortune. <clears throat> That's what I wanted. Really hope they don't have the plus two, plus two card. Okay, good. So allow me next turn to go like Dragon Guard Lieutenant Challenge and then play Radiant Guardian afterwards. That's the current plan. Pretty big that Bannerman missed. That probably means Justice will be served. Probably means misfortune on top, right? That card's probably misfortune right here. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. There we go. Never again will we fall to dragon. I'm worried about repost, right? I'm worried about single combat, then they go repost. I'll do the dragon instead. And so like if it is repost, it doesn't kill my Radiant Guardians. Okay. No repost, GG's. That was a very good hand for us, very good mobilized hand. Gonna mix up for the first game when we played against aggro and had it nothing. All right, so we went three and two there with uh, dragon mobilize. Just like I was saying at the beginning, I like this deck. I think it's strong. I really like new Eclipse Dragon. I like new Shivana. Um, it's gonna you're gonna have some variance with this deck though, with having not very many early plays like like we do. You'll sometimes have games like that first one where you just don't have anything to do, and uh, you know then that's that's kind of rough. You just don't have anything to do early, and you play against an aggressive deck. That's gonna happen sometimes. You know sometimes you just mulligan your hand and you still draw all this top end stuff. Um, but not Radiant Guardian, but like the, the other top end stuff, that's that's going to happen. But um, yeah, it's very powerful and uh, pretty fun to play.
because you know you get to do some some really cool stuff with just really big dragons and so this, this is one that i definitely enjoy playing and one to bust it back out with having a new shivana and eclipse dragon all right but anyway that's it here for Dr dragon mobilize those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button and of course leave those comments those comments really help out the youtube algorithms and stuff and plus i love seeing what y'all have to say um you have questions uh other decks you want to see or just uh you know anything love those comments but anyway thank you so much for uh watching some dragon mobilize and i'll see you for the next video